Breaking news guys, it looks like GPT 5.1 might actually be on its way and possibly very soon. If you've been on X this week, you've probably seen the buzz, screenshots, code snippets, and people claiming to have spotted something called GPT 5.1 thinking buried inside ChatGPT's own files. And while OpenAI hasn't confirmed anything yet, these leaks have been popping up from multiple sources, which usually means something's definitely cooking. Now, what makes this so interesting is the thinking part. That label alone has everyone guessing that OpenAI might be testing a major new reasoning feature, something that takes ChatGPT beyond just generating text and more towards planning, problem solving, and maybe even holding a deeper context of a conversation. If that's true, we could be looking at one of the biggest jumps since GPT-4, not just in power, but in how the model actually works. Think of it as moving from just responding to actually thinking through a task at a higher level. In today's video, we're going to break down exactly what's been leaked, where it came from, and what it might tell us about OpenAI's next update, and most importantly, what this could mean for all of us who use ChatGPT every day. So let's dive into it. So one of the biggest tweets that's been going around comes from a user called Scaling01. They posted what looks like internal references showing three different GPT 5.1 models, GPT 5.1, GPT 5.1 Pro, and GPT 5.1 Reasoning. Now, this wasn't just some random leak from a forum, the screenshots actually came straight from OpenAI's own website code, and that's what makes it so interesting. When we see model names showing up on official endpoints, it usually means they're either being tested internally or are close to being rolled out to the public. What really caught people's attention though was the reasoning version. That name alone suggests OpenAI might be experimenting with deeper logical or step-by-step -step thinking, maybe something that goes beyond the standard chat GPT responses we're used to right now. Some users even pointed out that this could tie into the thinking label we saw earlier in the JavaScript files. If all three versions are real, the base model, pro, and reasoning, it could mean we're about to see a full tiered lineup, kind of like how GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo launch separately. Pro might focus on speed and reliability for power users, while reasoning could focus on advanced problem solving or planning based tasks. The fact that this information was found on the official site is what makes this feel different from our usual rumors. It's the kind of breadcrumb that usually shows up just weeks before a big release. So yeah, between the site leaks, the new model names, and that reasoning label, everything's starting to line up. We might actually be closer to GPT 5.1 than we think. Alright, so another crazy part is that if you look closely at the code, it actually shows a release date of November 24, 2025. Now obviously, that doesn't guarantee that's the official launch date, it could just be a test date or something they're using internally. But the fact that it's showing up right there in OpenAI's own website code makes it pretty hard to brush off. And if it's real, that means we could be seeing GPT 5.1 in just a couple of weeks, which honestly makes sense. OpenAI usually pushes quiet updates like this before a bigger announcement or event. So yeah, between the new model names, the reasoning tag, and now an actual release date, everything is pointing to one thing, GPT 5.1 is coming soon. So here's where things get even more interesting. There's a new model popping up on benchmarking sites called Polaris Alpha. Now at first, people thought it was just another experimental model. But when you look closely at where it's showing up and how it performs, it's pretty clear that this could actually be GPT 5.1 or at least an early test version of it. On EQ Bench and the Creative Writing Leaderboard, Polaris Alpha is ranking near the very top right beside models like Claude Sonnet 4.5 and the new Kimi K2 Thinking. It's scoring in the same range and in some cases, even above GPT-5 2025-08-07 release. But here's the real clue. On Open Router, the model has extremely high rate limits, something you only see with official or partner level models. That's not common for a small research release. Plus, if you look at the model tree, Polaris Alpha clusters right next to GPT-5 and GPT-5 Mini, meaning its responses and behavior are almost identical to those models. 
So the theory is that Polaris Alpha is actually GPT 5.1 being tested quietly under a different name before the public rollout. This kind of stealth testing has happened before. OpenAI did something similar before releasing GPT-4 Turbo, where the model quietly appeared on partner platforms weeks before launch. People who've tested Polaris Alpha say it feels noticeably more coherent in long conversations, handles complex creative prompts way better, and keeps a much more consistent tone, which all point toward improvements in reasoning and memory. On creating writing benchmarks, for example, it outperforms almost every other model, showing higher emotional intelligence and fewer repetition issues. And then there's the KMIG-K2 thinking model that's been popping up alongside it. Another clue that companies might be testing thinking style models capable of multi-step reasoning or self-reflection more. That's exactly the direction OpenAI hinted at for GPT-5. So when you put it all together, the benchmark scores, the placement next to GPT-5, the high rate limits, and the fact that it's being quietly tested on OpenRouter, it really looks like Polaris Alpha could be the hidden GPT 5.1. If that's true, it means people are already using early versions of it without realizing it. And given how it's performing on creative and reasoning tests, this update might be more than just a small upgrade. It could mark the start of a new thinking generation of models. The timing of all of this couldn't be more interesting because it lines up almost perfectly with Google ready to launch Gemini 3 Pro. And if you followed OpenAI for a while, you know they tend to drop their biggest updates right around when Google makes a move. It's like a constant back and forth between the two giants. Both companies are chasing the same goal right now. Bigger context windows, better reasoning, and AI that actually understands problems instead of just reacting to them. If GPT 5.1 really brings the next step in thinking and planning, it could be a huge deal for developers, teams, and creators who rely on these tools every day. Of course, we still don't know exactly how OpenAI is going to roll this out. There might be different versions, maybe a standard model, a pro version, and the rumored reasoning tier, with some features coming first to API users or plus subscribers. But between the site code, the benchmark leaks, and that November 24 date sitting right there, it really feels like something big is coming soon. So yeah, the next few weeks in AI are going to be wild. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Is Polaris Alpha really GPT 5.1 or just another test model? Either way, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss it when these updates officially go live. I'll see you in the next one.